Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video because I got such an amazing package in the mail the other day. I knew I was getting this in PR, but I didn't know when it was coming. So this is the new palette from Glaminatrix. If you haven't seen this palette, prepare to have your mind blown because this is so pretty. When they were sneak peeking this, I was all over it. I totally would have bought this palette myself if I didn't get a scent in PR, but this is the Nocturnal palette. And when I tell you this palette is beautiful, oh my God, it's like, I have no words to describe just how pretty this palette is in person. It is a stunner. This palette is $56. Like I said, this is from uh, Glaminatrix, which is an Australian indie brand. So I'm not sure how much shipping and stuff like that and the conversion is going to be for you. But if you're interested in this palette, I would say just do a little bit of research yourself. This palette is also currently sold out, which is very, very sad, uh, but they are running pre-orders. So I would say follow them on Instagram, maybe sign up for their email notifications or something like that in order to know when this is coming back in stock or when the next pre-order is going to be because so far it seems like this palette has gotten really good feedback and I'm not surprised at all because I've already done a look with it and I loved it. I was originally going to do three looks with this, but can I just say I'm so overwhelmed with everything that's come into my collection lately that I just don't think I have time. So I'm gonna do two looks. I'm gonna do one on camera with this today and I'm gonna show you the other look that I've done at the end of the video. And that's basically going to be it. So I'm not gonna call this a review. It's mostly just gonna be like a, hey, I got this palette, let's play with it. I'll show you how awesome it is because I just don't have time to do more looks because like I said, I plan on filming a haul after this to like show some of this stuff so I can get an idea of what you guys wanna see after because I have so many things and I have such little time and I just, I can't, I can't do everything that I wanna do with everything, if that makes sense. So today we're just gonna focus on this one and I'm so excited. I sorta of have an idea in mind of what it is that I wanna do today. I think I wanna use some of like the grungy greens and I definitely want to try out the black. I didn't try the black in my first look, so I definitely want to do that because you guys know I love a good black eyeshadow. And I just want to play with some of these shimmers. I just want to, I don't know, do a fun look, do what I normally do. And we're just going to see where the look takes us. I don't have too much of a plan other than that, but I'm just really excited. I've loved Glaminatrix as a brand for a very, very, very long time. And to see them come out with something like this, which is so up my alley, this color story is absolutely stunning. And I honestly could see myself having put this one together myself because it's definitely something that spoke to me as soon as I saw it. And I felt like it was just so unique. And I don't feel like there are any color stories exactly like this on the market. Like the combination between the mattes and the shimmers in here, like the, the sort of brights with the murky tones and then the dual chromes and the multi-chromes. I don't know, I just think it's super interesting. And also this shade up here came broken for me, which is kind of sad, so I try to press it back in. It's still a little bit messy and fragile, so I have to be really careful with it, but oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna start with, I was thinking I wanted to use this green and this green in my crease and then deepen it up with the black and then possibly do, not sure what I wanna do on my lid. I mean, probably just the green, if I'm being honest. Maybe a little bit of this underneath my eye. Maybe we can do that as a plan just to see where we end up. So I'm gonna start with this shade right here on my crease. And this is the shade called Murky, which I love that. I'm just gonna put that, I guess, in the front portion of my crease. And then I can do the other shade more in the outer portion because I don't wanna layer them too much. I really want this shade to have its own little time in the spotlight because it's such a cool shade. I love greens like this. This one is going on super easy, very nice and pigmented. Seems very easy to blend out, which I'm definitely used to with Glaminatrix. Probably not going to take it under my eye because I do want to use that sort of bronzy, multi chromy shimmer just so we can try out as many shades as possible. I'm probably not going to be able to try out all of the shades on my eyes in the two looks that I've done, but at least I'll get a good idea of how this palette performs and just what some of the colors look like on the eyes. This is looking beautiful so far. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade called Gloom, which is this, it looks kind of brown, but honestly, it has such a strong green undertone to it that I don't think it's really gonna look brown. It's almost more of a mustard. I'm gonna take that in the outer half of my crease here and connect it with the green that we put down. I'm just gonna blend these two in together and they're gonna create such a beautiful sort of muddy mess, but in a good intentional way because they both have like that grungy undertone to them that just works so well together. Yeah, that is looking really cool already. I really like this. I am going to take this one under my eye though because I just wanna make sure that my outer corner is nice and cohesive and connected. I definitely prefer, I used to do like 
a different color under my eye a lot more often than I do these days. I think I've just realized that I like the way it looks when it's the same color mostly around the eye, but I definitely do like to mix it up from time to time, but for the most part, I would say probably 70% of the time at least, I like to have the same colors under my eye as I do in my crease, at least on the outer portion. I do tend to put like a pop of color in the inner portion, but for the outer portion, I do prefer to just keep it the same, but these are blending in together so nicely. Like I'm not sure you can see just how smooth and effortless this blend is, but I'm having no issues at all with any of these. There's also a little kick up in the pan here, which I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit more because from my experience with Glaminatrix, the shadows used to be a little bit more powdery, but it's also been a little while since I've used their shadows. I have a ton of their singles and that single formula used to be a little bit more powdery. I didn't get the, what was it called? They had a holiday palette last year, which was absolutely stunning but I didn't end up buying that one because I knew it was very limited edition and I figured by the time that I would get it in my hands, it would already be sold out and probably not coming back. So as a YouTuber, I decided to pass on that one, but it's a beautiful palette. And if I had more time to play with makeup without filming or reviewing stuff, I absolutely would have bought it. But I knew for myself that I just would not have time to play with it as much as I wanted to. And if I wasn't gonna make a video with it, which it kind of seemed pointless to make a video with a palette that wasn't ever going to come back. I decided against it, but oh my god, it's such a beautiful palette and I still kind of regret not buying it because I know if I had it, I would absolutely love it, but I'm still just really happy that I have this one and I'm pretty sure this one is not going to be a limited edition. At least I hope not and I don't think it will be. I don't know if it's going to be available forever, but it's definitely going to be available for quite some time, even if you have to wait a little bit to get it because it keeps selling out, but that's just kind of the name of the game when it comes to small indie brands and stuff. Like it's just, it's not that easy for them to make as many palettes as they would like to. Ideally, I'm sure they would love to have unlimited stock, but it's not that easy to run a small brand. So I'm next gonna go into the black shade, which is called Shadow. And I'm gonna use that to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. And we're gonna see how this black performs. I have very high expectations because it's swatched beautifully and it's going on the eye very nice and black and smoothly. It's almost, it's not a super matte black. I don't know if that makes sense, but it almost seems like it has a little bit of like a satiny sheen to it without being a satin. And I love blacks like that because it makes them so easy to blend and maneuver. Oh, that looks, so, that was so easy. Like that was literally all I had to do. Like that is all the blending that I need to do. It really does almost look a little bit shiny, but like without being shiny, that's very interesting because it doesn't look like that in the pan at all, but on the eye, it almost transforms a little bit. That looks so beautiful. I really like this black. This is such a nice black. And I've also had no fallout or anything with any of these shades. I mean, this is literally all I'm gonna do. That looks incredible. I really, really like that. I'm going to layer just a little bit more of that black, just like kind of fade it in towards the middle of my lid. And then I'm going to use, I think the green shimmer because that one looks so beautiful. I will say with these shimmers, I think they're going to perform better with some kind of a glitter primer or spraying them because the textures of them are such that they're a little bit on the dry side and some of them are a little bit flaky, not in a bad way, but just like in the way that it tends to need a little bit of help just to like stick well. So I would recommend, let's see, I need a brush. I would recommend using some kind of a glitter primer or spraying your brush with these shadows because I just feel like it's gonna look better and be easier to work with. I'm just putting my glitter primer all over my lid here. Just a very thin layer. I don't want too much of this, just enough that it has some tack to it. And then I'm gonna take the sticky side of my brush into the shade called Night Vision. So this is a black based green and it shifts to, what is the shift on this? It's almost like a bit of a, like a red, I would say. I'm gonna take that basically in the middle of my lid. Actually, I'm just gonna put this all over my lid because I really wanna see the shift in this. This is so beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of one of the shades that was in, one of the Game Beauty palettes, maybe it was their first palette, but I feel like this one is a little bit more intense and a little shinier, but oh my God, that looks so, that looks so good. I love green eyeshadow, which I know that you guys know, but 
I just, I never get sick of a shadow like this because it just looks oh, so good. That is so pretty, I can't. Just getting the most seamless blend over that black as well. These two are just working so well together. I've been loving the formulas in this palette so far. I think they are just so stunning and easy to work with. And they just look so good on the lids as well. My first look, I had no problems with creasing or anything like that at all. And especially with shimmers that are this intense, I do tend to sometimes have problems with creasing. Uh, different extents depending on the formula, but for the most part, shimmers that are this intense do tend to crease at least a little bit on me after, you know, a few hours, but I didn't have any problems with, I think it was Luna that I used. I mostly used this one and this one, no creasing at all, and they looked beautiful all day. And then for under my eye, I'm gonna take the shade called Constellation, which it looks to just be sort of a, like, a, not a bronze, is it a bronze? I'm gonna spray this a little bit. Let's see what it looks like on the eyes, but I'm pretty sure this is a multi-comb, even if it's not a dual comb. I think this might actually be a multi-comb. This is so pretty. It has a bit of a, like a pink shift to it, depending on like the lighting, how you look at it. That's really, really pretty. I feel like this is a great palette for someone who likes color but prefers neutrals because there are quite a bit of maybe not like your basic neutral shades but I feel like you could get very toned down but still interesting looks with this palette while still dabbing in color but it's not the intimidating type of color that maybe are in other palettes especially the kind of palettes that I like I feel like these are very wearable but still impactful and fun colors that look so good I really like this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with my eyes. I do need something in my inner corner. I might just use my face highlighter, which is Ray Rider from Kaleidos. Probably just gonna do that and then find a lipstick, finish off with my eyes. I'll come back and I will show you the other look that I've done and sort of tell you my first impression thoughts on this palette. And here is the final look. And I think this turned out so, I love how grungy, but still bright this is because that bright green shimmer really made it all pop and I love it. It looks so good. If you wanna know what else is on my face, my blush today is from, I thought I'd mention it because it's kind of a fun color. This is from the Arthurine palette from Menagerie. It's their sort of yellowy blush. It's this one up here. I think this is so cool with like green looks and neutral looks even. Like it just looks interesting, you know? Like it's, it's something a little bit unexpected maybe to have a yellow orangey blush and I think it looks really nice. Like I said before, my highlighter is Ray Rider from Kaleidos. Um, in my waterline, what did I use? I used, this was a choice. I'm not sure if I like it, but this is a brown liner from ColourPop. I don't know. I just didn't know what to put in there, so I put in brown. That's basically it. This is from the collection that Rob Beauty Christie did with them. It's in the shade Woodsy. I don't know if this is available anymore, but before I tell you my thoughts, or I guess I can tell you my thoughts while I show you the first look that I did with this palette, but I would say that this palette is amazing quality so far. I have had no problems whatsoever. The mattes are, they're pigmented, but they're not super pigmented straight off the bat. They're very easy to work with. So far, like I said, I haven't used all the shades. I haven't used all of them in every single way that I can, but I would say that they are definitely quite buildable and they are very opaque. They have a lot of pigment to them. The wear time is really, really nice on these. The shimmers are absolutely stunning amazing they look so foiled so wet so sparkly so everything that i want in a shimmer these shimmers i feel like provide that for me and i'm so happy i have this palette i think that like i said before the color story is unlike anything that i've ever seen but also it just works so well that i wonder why no one else has come out with this and i'm just i'm thrilled that i have this in my collection i really wish that i could do more looks with this maybe before the next restock I can do another look with this. Let me know if you want to see that. Maybe I can do, maybe I can do a little short or something, but I just have so much. I have so many things that I really want to focus on right now that I cannot spend, you know, three looks on each palette because I just, I simply don't have time if I'm going to try to keep up with everything that's probably, you know, going to come out as well. So... Yeah, I love this palette so far. I'm so happy I have it. Thank you, Glaminatrix, for sending it to me. I do have a code with Glaminatrix. I think it's Annette. I will have it on the screen. It's 15% off, if I'm not mistaken. It's not affiliated, but it will help you save some money. I think that's all. I think that's all I needed to say. <laughs> I probably forgot something, which story of my life, but 
yeah, let me know if you're interested in this. Let me know if you picked this up. Let me know if you've tried Glaminatrix as a brand. I think that they are amazing and I'm so happy that they've come out with a new palette and that I get to play with it because it is stunning and I can't wait to play more with it when time allows. So that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see some more first impression videos, I do have a playlist with way too many videos. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.